Hey guys, back Tim here in the garage. Uh, today I'm working on my uh, Kawasaki 440 stand-up jet ski. Um, while back, I got new pickup tubes here. Well, new used ones off of eBay. So this will basically replace um, stock ones here. Uh, these is this original one. The, um, the actual pickup pieces here were gone. So you guys can kind of see what's missing there. Um, but anyway, we'll uh, see how this goes. Um, again, I don't know where these tubes are. I couldn't find them. I was kind of hoping maybe they'd be down in the jet ski somewhere or something. But uh, And they might still be. These may have been pushed down uh, inside the tank. Um, I really couldn't see in there. It does have two stroke in it. I put that in there. So there's a good possibility that the tubes got pushed through and they're sitting inside the tank somewhere down in there. Again, I didn't dig too hard. I just went ahead and got this set. So I'm gonna get these put in, get all the fuel lines um, rerouted, hooked up. I don't, I think I'm going to do away with the reserve fuel here switch um, for right now, just to get it, get it going. I may later on, um, if I decide to completely redo this thing, I may hook all that back up. Uh, we'll see. But for right now, I'm basically just going to run these pickups straight to the carburetor and uh, return back back in. I believe there's an, an in and an out here. Um, you got your in here, and I believe the outs on this side, if I'm correct. So basically, your fuel line here comes in. If I've got this all, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling this loose. We'll go ahead and start. Um, make sure I got the right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Actually, I'm gonna pull this off first. So that's actually uh, 11. Back right here on it. Basically, just loosen this up. Choke cable falls out. I don't know if that's how that thing is set up originally, but that's how this one's hooked up. So throttle cable here it's just a flat blade same thing back it out pull it down off to the side so those are both out um, again I already got my fuel lines my return lot stuff off so these are uh, 13s so got one on each side here not too bad to loosen these up really don't think you can get a socket in here on these to be honest with you guys it's pretty tight up against the flange on this carburetor so um, don't really think you can get anything but a wrench in here so pull these off um, both of those off and then the carburetor should be loose should be able to pull actually didn't realize that. Um, there's actually a hose clamp right here. Oops, let me grab a Phillips. Did not realize that there was a hose clamp down in there, so we'll see. Never actually pulled one of these off before, so looks like there is a hose clamp right here. Just a Phillips. So I actually may not have to pull that, that little boot off of there. We'll see here. I mean, um, I'm actually going to put these back on for a second. Just get them snug back down, finger tight, so that I don't have to break that seal there. We'll just leave it like it is. And originally, I think the problem with this carburetor, if I didn't go over it, um, I think I did in the video a while back, but this carburetor here. Um, the pulse side wasn't working, so it wasn't pumping any or getting any fuel to the carburetor at all. Um, so it was actually this little pump. Yeah, the motor itself was pulsing. So, so there you guys can see that actually does have a little boot here. Um, it actually looks pretty decent. It's dirty, but looks good. So I'm going to take this over to the bench and uh, 
we'll clean this up and throw it, taking this apart. So I'll cut back here in just a second when I get it, get it over to the bench. Okay guys, so I've got this over on the bench here. I'm gonna go ahead and start. You can pull this air filter off. I might still in the jet ski if you would like, but I'll do it over here on the bench. I don't know how, if I'm gonna put this thing in a soak overnight or yet or not, we'll kind of look at it when I get it all opened up here. Um, most likely I probably will put it in a kin dip, Kim dip and let it set uh, overnight and then rinse it out. But we'll kind of see what she looks like here. These are 10 millimeters that hold this on. So just in case anybody wants to know, I don't believe there's anything in here, there might be a filter or a screen. I know a lot of a lot of these different jet skis I've messed with that really don't have like a traditional filter because you don't normally have the dirt and dust like you would on a dirt bike or four wheeler. So we'll see what this looks like. It may not have anything to be honest with you guys. Probably would have been easier with my impact, but. There is a screen in here of some sort. It's different. So, there is a filter in here. Kind of different i haven't really ever seen anything like that so um i'm assuming there was just three of those huh. so basically again that's pretty much just a, a screen if you guys can see that Dad. that just lets lets air pull through but keeps basically big debris from going through here so um on all honesty the inside of the carb actually looks really really good so we'll see what the uh with the inside of the pulse and everything looks like so we'll continue working on this uh, i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pull this off first again this is basically like your pulse portion of this um, cool. there should also be a needle like a seat kind of like what you'd have in a normal bowl it's a little little difference in diaphragm versus a float so one thing you guys might want to pay attention to is kind of where your pot, your uh, vacuum line and stuff lines up here. So I'm not 100% sure when I put this back on if it's going to be able to go on multiple directions or just one. We'll find out together, I guess. Long screws. Looks like I'm probably gonna have to pull that off in the middle first. Go ahead and do that. So yeah, there is a diaphragm that's right here. Hopefully this will fix this little jet ski. Um, it has really good compression. Uh, I did run with just spraying two stroke into it. So you guys can kind of see the different gaskets in here. So you got your, you got these little um, seats that are on here that flap. I'm trying to get all this apart. The screen. I believe this is two pieces here. Should come apart. Oh, well, that part came off. So hopefully this is the right kit and everything is here, but I guess we'll find out. I guess it's seen better days. Um, and I may be wrong. This may be just one solid piece here. It's looking like it might be. So. 
I'm gonna say this is one solid piece, so I'll clean clean this all up. I'll kind of set it off to the side. This piece should. Try to get it out without. I don't really want to damage the break the input there. Here, here Dave, let's not mess with this. You can look at them, but don't pick them up because you lose them. I won't have the parts, okay? And I'm betting that's probably going to be our culprit right there. If you guys can see, um, it actually looks like it's been leaking. You guys can see how swollen that little diaphragm is. So basically, what this does um, is presses here when the and allows fuel into the carburetor, which also, we're gonna have to look into that a little bit because I'm kind of wondering here, I don't know what kind of needle this has. Here, baby, can I have that back, please? Oh, I need a screwdriver. Thank you. I didn't like that, that. Yeah, maybe, we'll see. Can you can you grab me a little one? Sorry, grabbing a different screwdriver here real quick. Um, what I'm looking at, and I'm a little confused about, and I don't, I may be, but that needle is actually stuck down. Um, and I don't know, sorry about the camera, guys. I'm not really paying attention where I'm pointing it, but um, what I'm wondering is if that's not supposed to have a, um, like a little lip on it. I'm not 100% sure if my kit came with a new needle. So what I'm talking about is where this, when this pushes down, I think there's supposed to be a little arm on that seat right there that allows that to lift itself back up. So I'm gonna have to look into that, but uh, I'm gonna get this pulled out of here and we'll, I may have to get online and kind of see what's supposed to go there, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it for now and see if there's, if it's not um, maybe down underneath it. And the screwdriver is just spinning on me. Awesome. So you got your pin, your spring. This kit actually comes with all of that, which is great, but not if this isn't right. Doesn't really look like it had one. So maybe just off of where the carb sits, maybe it lets it come back. I'm not not hundred percent sure. What exactly does that? So I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm, I'm a little confused now on that piece. And I'm not seeing honestly I don't even see a spot for a, anything to hook into that either. So it may, that may be the way it is. I'll just have to do some research here. Um, I'll go ahead and pull. Actually, I gotta get a different screwdriver. This one just, the handle is spinning on it, so. So we'll go ahead here. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so I've got that one pulled out. Like I said, it's about three quarters, um, roughly. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and screw it in. So there's half a turn. There's basically one one full turn, the bottom's out. So you don't wanna over tighten these, so just, you just need to kind of roughly snug them. So um, to be on the throttle side is one turn. The other side um, is three quarters. So, and I'll look at the book too, or look it up the specs online, but if I can't find them, at least I have a, kind of an idea baseline so so you guys can see in here this carb is actually pretty plugged um, right in here so if you guys can see that but there's some gunk in here and um, I'll get the seed out here after that I think that's pretty much it on that side so um, then we'll work around here you can actually pull I'm gonna pull this this piece off that's 10 mil down in there so i'm gonna grab a 10 okay guys got my 10 mil here i'm actually gonna set the camera down um to loosen these up so i'll cut back but i'm basically i'm gonna pull these three uh, okay guys it's another day um i actually didn't 
finish um what i started the other day it was yesterday so i'm uh, back out here today um, working on it so uh first thing i'm gonna do here is what i was doing right before i cut off i think on the last video is this is actually a 10 millimeter holds the little seat piece in here that's where your needle sits down in there so i'm gonna go ahead and pull that out there's a little gasket down in there um I'm not sure again i'm not sure what all this kit comes with i'm gonna open it up here in just a second but um basically what i'm gonna do now that's that's everything outside of that little gasket getting that out of there try not to mess it up because it may not have came with one but uh basically i'm gonna go through all this clean clean everything up um get all the junk off of it pull this one off here i forgot about it so I'll get this pulled. Actually, I probably won't pull it. I think all that does is holds that slide in. So I'm gonna leave that, leave that on there. Cause yeah, that'll, all I think all that is is for the, allowing this slide from being pulled out, which I don't think I'm gonna remove the slide. So, so I'll cut back here in a second. Um, like I said, I'm gonna get this all cleaned up, blow through all the jets, uh, everything on it was carb cleaner. Um, the inside of this does not look that that bad so uh, i'm going to make sure everything all the ports everything look good and clean and then uh, uh for this one i did go ahead and get a makuni uh, actual rebuild kit um sometimes you buy those chinese knockoffs and a lot of times you you get what you pay for they're they're kind of crap so uh this kit here i'll have a link to it um in the descriptions but there's kind of your part number so again what i believe originally is wrong with this pump or with this carb was it, it wasn't getting fuel whether that was the needle being stuck which is what i i think after i pulled this apart was the needle was stuck down or if it was actually the uh the pulse side of it um on that diaphragm being bad both looked a little a little out of out of shape so we'll we'll see but uh I'll get this cleaned up. I'll cut back here in just a second and we'll start putting her back together. All right, guys. So I got a little ahead of myself. I honestly forgot to start recording. So um, what I've done so far is I put the uh, new needle spring um, and little plate washer and the uh, oh, little bar that holds that in place there. And then I've actually put new O-rings on both of these. Uh, little O-rings look like these two old ones here there's another new one there I just threw down um, this one is actually if you have another model that has this one open here um, you'll have another screw just like this I think it's like on a BN44 it's a little different carburetor maybe like on the on the 550s or 650s I'm not 100% sure what carburetor it is but there there is another carb that's got this uh, one here that's adjustable this one here you can see is sealed so it's not the high speed is not adjustable so you basically have your um, your idle sp screw and then on this side here i believe this is your low speed screw um and like i said they got new o-rings that go in those so um so far all i have done um is basically these first step three here put that in um and now i'm getting ready to start putting this will be this one here because again i don't have the bn44 I've got the one below that. So I'm um, going to start that process of going through and putting this all back together. So so yeah, some of these are a little different. I'm trying to look at my parts. Sorry, guys. Kind of looking over here at what I've got. So Basically, you can kind of compare what you've taken out here. So like these two pieces that I'm grabbing out, um, they're basically these two, different material. But this is what I'm gonna be putting down. Um, and they will go underneath this plate here. So I'm trying to get trying to get all this stuff kind of figured out what I pulled off. So I've got all my stuff here. This, this actually had a gasket and a diaphragm. So that would be this piece here and one of these um, sorry guys, one of these, um, diaphragms or one of these gaskets here in the diaphragm. Um, so I'm trying to, trying to kind of get all this stuff, 
uh, together. I don't see this one, so I'm going to kind of hold on to it. But basically what I'm doing is going through and just kind of throwing some of this stuff that I have here. That would be that one down there. So um, just kind of going through this stuff and making sure I've got everything that I need to put this back together because this kit um, does cover a couple different carbs. So basically as I'm using this, the parts like this one here I've already used, these O-rings here I've used, um, I'm kind of throwing the stuff that I pulled off and tossed it out of the way here. So uh, this is the rest of my pile. So as I'm putting this together, trying to keep track and making sure I get everything put back. But uh, again, not all these carbs um, are the same. So there's there's a couple different models that this is covered. I think it's covering like a BN38. Uh, it looks like, well, it says up at the top. Rebuild kit for BN34, BN38, and BN44 carbs. I believe this would be, it actually may say on the side here, Makuni. I thought maybe it was stamped. I think, I, I honestly think this is like a 38, but um, I don't see any markings on it, but I'd have to look it up. Not 100% sure, but um, again, the nice thing about taking videos, I can go back and look at some of my previous videos and kind of see what I, what all I did, but um, I'm going to go ahead and basically put these two seals here in, in the bottom here. What's cool is it does basically tell you exactly how it goes. Um, you can pretty well follow right along. It's a little easier maybe to, they flipped it up this way. Um, so basically that gasket piece, this one here, is gonna go down first, just like so. Um, I got that in the wrong way there. Oops, no, that's right. It's gotta go, it's gotta go just like that. So that one goes in there. Then you got your little flapper piece. Again, it's gotta go just like that. Um, so both of those are in. Then you've got your little plate here. These are tapered. Um, you can see, maybe, if I can get that there. So I'm gonna make sure there is a flat side to this. So basically this is gonna go just like that. Um, and then these screws, again, these are, these are tapered screws. Don't get these mixed up with this one here. You can tell the difference. Tops on these are flat. So you wanna keep that up. So those are gonna go in here. Um, so I'm gonna screw it over here. Again, make sure all your tools you're keeping everything clean because little little pieces of particle off your rags or anything um, can get in some of these holes. They're pretty pretty small. So So then I'll snug that up here in just a second. Um, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but so you've got that piece in. Like I said, I've already got the needle and seat. So now at this point, we'll be starting on um, the diaphragm, which would be this piece here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this tightened up first to get all this stuff nice and good. And then we will put this diaphragm on. Diaphragm on the gasket. This piece here, um, and then you've got another gasket that's going to go underneath that, which, and then you guys can see it's a two-piece set. So we'll keep, I'll keep working down through this um, and follow the directions. I'll cut back in just a second when I get this all tightened up and um, try to figure a way to kind of record this and hold the camera at the same time. Okay, guys. So after looking at it, this actually points over here. So. And we'll loosen it up just a little bit. Spin it around and place it about right there. So go ahead and tighten that down. I don't want to get too crazy with that. That that is plastic, so it's got a nice seal around it. So I wouldn't get too too crazy over tightening it. So so now I basically got everything put back together. Um, We'll get the fuel inlet here. 
trying to remember where it screws in. There we go. And again, that this has, make sure you've got the washer on the bottom and the top here. So don't lose those. Um, this kit did not come with, with new replacement uh, washers. Honestly, you guys probably don't even have to take this off. I did just to blow it out um, and make sure everything was good there. So let's get the so I'm gonna put that about there. Again, I don't quite remember where this one was pointed e at either, but I wanna put it there and if I have to, I can move it. Um, Cause if I remember right, this goes in just like that. I think this is just pointed off the side here. So it just goes like that. Cause I believe if I'm right, this is your fuel in your vacuum side. And this is basically just a, a return. I'm, I'm assuming I need to kind of look that up. Cause honestly, guys, I'm not, that's just what I assumed it was. I may be wrong. But, um, so for the most part, guys, that pretty much, um, is the whole process here of rebuilding this carb. So again, it did not come with the gasket for the air intake, uh, which is this one. So don't, don't lose this one. So I'll have to, I'll have to reuse that, which that again goes with the air filter here, which I'll bolt back on. So, um, yeah, the next step is going to be putting this back back in again um i'll have to go back and look at my video i can't remember i think these were like three quarter and one and a half or something on my on my little um low and um idle screws so i'll go back and check my video um, if you guys do this make sure you write it down i should have wrote this down on the paper when i did it but um, i didn't i kind of got sidetracked and like i said this is another day um so I want to, like I said, I'm trying to get this done. I'm kind of in a hurry trying to get it put together before this weekend. So uh, we'll see how this goes. But um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this off camera. The rest of it, you guys, you saw me pull the top off. It's not that difficult. So I'm going to get the rest of this put together. Um, check check a couple specs on some of this stuff. And I will cut back when, I'm, when I've got it in the ski. And I've got the fuel lines um, kind of routed and put in place. So I'll cut back in a little bit, guys. Thanks again. Okay, guys, getting this put back into the ski. Um, I was wrong. This is the actual pulse side of things. So you're going to hook that up to your to your vacuum here. Um, this is your fuel inlet um, right here. So I'm still assuming this is an outlet. I really i am not 100% sure on that yet. I'm not going to run through my um, uh, switch down here because somebody has cut all these off. Um, a couple of these were rotted off. So I'm not going to use these. I'm going to leave them in here for now. And uh, later on, I plan to probably pull this loose, see if I can get these. Um, I think I can pull these two off here from this side and pull this back. And then hopefully I can reroute those. It looks pretty tight down in there. So for right now, I'm going to leave that alone um, and I'll mess with that later. So um, for right now, I'm basically going to run a hose from here to probably one of these side. I'm not going to use the... Um, this right here is my my uh, reserve line. I'm actually going to run that to to my inlet here. I'm going to run this straight through with a fuel filter, and then this one here will be my uh, return. And I'm just going to throw a throw a little plug over the top of that one for right now. So um, I'll cut back here in a second. But I really wanted to show this that I, I was wrong. This is this is actually your fuel inlet. And if you read the directions, hell, it tells you plain as shit on that paper. This is your fuel inlet. So, um, yeah, so this is right running it this way. This is your inlet. So I'll get all this hooked up here real quick. I did get the new one dropped in again. Like I told you guys, the hoses, the tips or the little pipes may actually be in my tank. Um, I did not realize when I ordered all this until it was too late that these actually pushed through. So they're probably down in the bottom of that tank and I didn't, I didn't realize that somebody's probably trying to push a hose on. Um, I mean, these, I don't know, they don't really look, I'm really not sure what happened there. They maybe broke off. I think these pushed through, but um, I'm a little bit, I mean, to me, I think those push out. Sorry, guys.
putting on it, but I, I think those do push through. But anyway, they're probably in my tank, but um, long story short, I don't have them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this hose hooked up. Uh, the two stroke in here is fresh. Uh, it's pretty clean. So this tank was pretty much bone dry when I got it. It didn't look too bad. So I'm gonna put a filter on it, hook it in here. Um, I've got a brand new battery in this ski already. So fingers crossed, uh, hopefully here in just a second, you guys will be hearing me start this up for the first time. So let me get these fuel lines ran and I'll cut All right back guys, in. so I've cranked it over like two seconds and uh, you can already see pulse pump is working. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the choke here and I'm gonna hit it a couple, oops, sorry, hit a couple more times. We'll see if this thing will fire up. Let's see it's filling up the fuel. started wow it's pretty promising fires up so um yeah um we'll see what this thing does uh, i really don't want to run a whole lot yet i got the honestly the garage is all shut up but um uh, I need I need to get some lube on the uh, throttle. You guys can see that sticking. It's not coming back. So let me find some lube um, to get on the throttle here. Get that freed up. But yeah, outside of that, let's see what she does real quick. One more time. Sounds like she might be idling a little high. Um, so I may have to adjust my screws just a little bit, but. Um, I need to go look at the book because I just set them back to what I had, which was one in, one on the on the throttle side, which I need to look at my paperwork. I can't remember if that's the low screw and this is the high, but probably need to, to find out what my, my what the actual specs need to be on this. Um, get that set up, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty promising to clean the carb and literally now... We'll see what she does uh there's still a lot to check out once i get it in the water and make sure you know the pump's working it's not going to overheat i'm getting water circulating through it and all that good stuff so um uh, i'm probably going to end this video here um and we'll uh maybe try to get some video this weekend of it actually out on the water but um thanks again for watching guys if you have any questions uh feel free to ask i tried to go over as much as i could on this video i know it was kind of all over the place but um I'll try to piece it together and uh, maybe get something out of this. So uh, again, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask and we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks again for watching.